Well, hello, you gorgeous mother truckers, and welcome to the Inn of Corrections. Well, then, I did a little short where I was just sort of celebrating the fact that it has been, without doubt, and still continues to be, without doubt, very satisfying, delightfully delicious to watch all of these members of the left waffle literally losing their collective poop over the media suddenly doing something that they don't agree with. Now, remember that these are the people that have been licking the media's ass for 14 years, and they love it because the media has always been singing from the left waffers hymn sheet, and they've been saying all the things that need to be said, and all the things that are being challenged, and everything like that is all great, and the media, nothing. Silence. The media are wonderful. They blow smoke up the media's ass Until the media, very much akin to... You remember J.K. Rowling, who was the most left-wing, leaning person known to man, who then went and said something like, a man can't be a woman, and became the enemy. Well, all of a sudden, because the media are saying something slightly different, oh my God, they're the worst thing since sliced bread, and it is absolutely wonderful to watch these complete raging lunatics going mental and having a meltdown because, oh my God, the media aren't doing what we want them to do. Oh no, how dare they question anyone? I mean, it's okay when they were questioning people we didn't like, but now they're questioning somebody we like. What are they doing? And I've got just a few examples, which I'm going to pop up here. And we're just going to just show the lunacy of it. Here's one. Kindly. How come I know that no money changed hands between Lord Ali and Keir Starmer? Got that? No money changed hands. Yet these so-called journalist presenters don't. Is it a qualification at Sky to be dumb? Just asking for the country and the truth. <laughs> right, one. If you accept a gift of somebody else, i.e. staying in a house, that's called a gift in kind. And that's what the taxman and the HMRC will see it. So there is actually monetary value to it for a start off. So no money does actually have to pass hands. I mean, if I gave you a one and a half million pound Ferrari and said you could keep it, does that mean I've not given you any money? So that's OK. I've just given you a million and a half quid's worth of car. You see, this is the idiotic thing, because what they're trying to do is they're desperately trying to polish a turd and it doesn't work now. So cool journalists. Now, these are the journalists you loved. You loved Kay Burley um, and what's the other one? Beth Reed. But you thought they were great when they were attacking all your enemies, the people you didn't like. But now they're asking awkward questions about somebody you like. Oh, no. Are they dumb? We all know they're dumb. We've been saying this for the last 20 years. And we're the ones who've been called conspiracy theorists and all oh, your lunatics and oh, yeah, far right and. Nazis and God knows what else you want to be called, or in some occasions, you know, messages asking our, us to off ourselves because we're in a bit of an inconvenience. So we all know they're dumb. We've all been telling you they're dumb, and you've been calling us everything under the sun, but now they're dumb. Unbelievable. Uh, let's go on to the next one. Now, someone phoned up uh, <laughs> Nick Ferrari. When the Tories were doing badly, you sat there asking with lamb rest. If you ask Boris Johnson the questions you're asking Keir Starmer, we'd be in a different position. They did. They did. You see, what you're doing is now, oh, they're not saying what we want to say. They've spent 14 years going on about it. The Labour Party has spent 14 years going on about it. They did ask the difficult questions. It was the media that helped Boris Johnson to get kicked out of his position over a piece of cake. But no, 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 no. These media people are idiots. <laughs> it's great. It really is. Here's another one. Each day I pass, I admire Starmer and Labour more and more. The same day I pass, I despise our media more and more. Too many weirdos. Muted. Change replies. It stops the... See, this is okay. It stops the bots. What? This is something else that the left waffle do. These idiots, these morons, these lunatics. Yeah? Who, apparently, unions empower workers who love Starmer, even though the unions voted against the um, winter fuel cut. Well, I know that the Labour are going to ignore it, but so you're talking out your ass. Feminist. Doesn't surprise me. Doesn't surprise me. But the thing is, they always call everybody bots. If you answer back, you're a bot. 
if you say something, you're terrible. Yeah? I mean, and you get all these idiots like, it's going to be hard. Year for Starmer and LP. They will make mistakes, but there's still 100% improvements over the 14 years of the effing Tories' incompetence, dishonesty, and utter failure. Well, so far, in less time, Labour have been incompetent, uh, dishonest, constantly, and an utter failure. Oh, and unlike the other party, the effing T's, um, haven't condemned millions of people to freeze to death because they can't afford 1.4 billion to keep them warm, but can afford 11.6 billion to Africa so they can get green power, or 5 billion a year to the Ukraine to fight a war that's got nothing to do with us. But no, it's absolutely terrible. I hate the media. The media aren't singing from the same hymn sheet. It's. <laughs> Next one. I'm truly sick of the entire media, radio, papers, TV, knocking labour. It's relentless. It's grotesque to extreme. What the F is going on? This has to stop. Enough is enough. Money is not there. Not Labour's bloody fault. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, oh, the delicious taste of your tears. It literally is. Oh, you see, this is the media that you've been licking ass for 14 years. Um, It is Labour's fault. Um, the money's not there. Again, as I'll reiterate, if I give you something that's worth £50,000 and say you can keep it, as far as legally and the taxman's concerned, I've given you £50,000. It's irrelevant whether it was a watch or whatever. It's a payment in kind. So you can't say there's no money there, because it is, because the money is there. It's as simple as that. And you could try, again, to polish a turd, but the simple truth of the matter is rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Malcolm Martin here puts it right. No, not UK Labour's fault. The money is, isn't there. But Labour's decisions, as it did, it hit pensioners for circa £1.4 billion or bring back bank surcharge for £1.5 billion to £1.625 billion, They choose to hit the pensioners. Or raise an extra 8% from wealthy multinationals. Oh, no, you see, that's the problem. No matter how much you go on about it and scream and shout, it doesn't add up and you can't polish a turd. Next one. Labour have turned Beth Rigney into a national embarrassment in a matter of weeks. You have literally been kissing her ass for the last 14 years. The posts about how she challenged Nigel Farage at the reform thing, you loved her. But because now she's not singing off the same hymn sheet, I mean, so good. And in breaking news, Keir Starmer's bought two eggs for breakfast. Yes, two eggs have been confirmed. You can try and polish the turd, blow smoke, pretend it's not happening. The simple truth of the matter is you're not going to squirm out of this, nor did the Tories. And I know it's very inconvenient for a lot of you, but they did actually newspapers, which were all your friends until just recently. Now they're your enemies because they're not sinking from the same hymn sheet. Picked it up all the time and Labour spent 14 years banging on about it and went, we will be different. And, <laughs> and the next, not the Hugh Edwards, just a couple of minutes of Beth Rui does a poor impression of a serious journalist talking about Lebanon, Ukraine. Then she asked her interview, I want to for most focus on domestic issues. She means freebies. No, she does. Because, again, you missed it. Absolutely me. Yeah? Brilliant answer here, which is what I'm trying to say by the Northumbrian. It's weird how your opinion of Beth Rui, we're going to come to it in a minute, has changed massively in our Labour in power. You used to think she was outstanding when she was holding Boris to account, now she's not a serious journalist when she's holding Starmer to account. Hypocrisy! And there's a post up. Same guy. Outstanding Paul interview by Beth Rigg exposed what utter pathetic man Johnson is. He couldn't even look Beth in the eye when she mentioned the two parties prior to Prince Philip. said, well done, Beth. <laughs> and he goes, thanks for highlighting the decline in Beth Rigg, once a decent journalist. You see, they're a decent journalist when they're saying what you want them to say when they're doing what you want to do. Us on the right, as you call us, just see all media as a bunch of lying arseholes and have nothing to do with them. We know what they're like. We just don't engage with them. We don't talk. We just ignore them because they're lunatics. Now there's a decline in, in it because they're daring to deserve lots. You, you, are, you are insane. Anyone who is a member of the left welfare, you are clinically and mentally unstable. You need help. Because that's just proving that, oh, well, well, thanks for showing that she's declined. No, it's showing your massive hypocrisy because that's what the left is. That's what the whole of this is. It's just massive, 
steaming pile of hypocrisy. A turd-shaped pile of hypocrisy that just keeps on being added to. And you lot trying to polish it aren't going to make any difference. And the next one. Oh, good old Marianne Perkis. She's another nut job. Just wondering how much that trip to Italy would have cost. You know, the one where Bot Johnson stayed and partied at a mansion belonging to the son of a KGB agent and then put in the Lords. Oh, you mean like Lord Alley, who's in the Lords, who's giving all the money to Starmer? Oh, yeah, you're not going to mention that, though, are you? No, because you're trying to polish a turd. No one's bothered to find out. This is GB News style journalism and we deserve better. Oh, all of a sudden. And I'm going to do a separate video on the accommodation thing because these left-wing idiots just don't get it. Well, they probably do, but they don't like it because it's actually showing that, no offence, our Prime Minister and all of his cabinet, who have all received money off Lord Alley, are compromised. They genuinely are compromised. So one minute, they're great. Next minute, they're not. Another one. Remember when Sketh Sky's Beth Rigby interviewed Boris Johnson, grilled him on free holidays, free food for a year, courtesy of Bamford's flat refer, pay for the bonus, and the 237 wedding pack of James C. No, me neither. <laughs> Except, of course, there you go. Maybe you have dementia. You see, this is it, you see. You can stand there, Jeff H. You moan about the fact she didn't grill Bobby's like this when there's evidence that exactly that they did. This is what the media do. But you've loved them for 14 years because they've blown smoke up your ass and made you smile. Now, not so good, is it? You see, that's why the rest of us don't give a shit about what the media say anymore because it's all rubbish. But it now is a problem. And it's been so pleasurable to watch you all have a shit meltdown. It's just brilliant. And we'll bring up one last one because I could literally go for hundreds. Ten weeks, she watched this garbage. That ego of Beth Rigby has become a parody of herself. No, it's not. And as somebody quite rightly says, you lefty loons love it when Sky was abusing the Tories daily, but now you don't like it. They're exposing even more corrupt dealings of Labour. I mean, it's like that. She always was, you cretin. <laughs> oh, but see, this is my point. You can go on and on. And I, I, I've, I've just selected a few here. I, there's there's thousands, thousands. I wouldn't say millions because there's not that many of them. But they're there. Oh, down with the media. Oh, they're all evil. Oh, they're not. <laughs> oh, it's been such a pleasure. It's a delight now sometimes to go on to X and just watch you all just falling apart because all of a sudden, why are the media not doing what they have been for the last 14 years. Um, and, 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 you know, oh, what's happened to Sky? What's happened to them all? They've all changed. They haven't changed. We've been telling you for 14 years, 20 years, actually, probably even longer than that, that the media is full of crap. For me, it was uh, 2001 where I realised the media are just a massive lying organisation. I had my inklings before then, but it was 2001 and one particular incident that occurred on the sep uh, 9th sep September. 11th of September, where you then when you look at it, they were lying. And it was blatantly, right there, it was blatantly obvious. And from then on in, once you get that idea that they're liars, you start looking and you can see the whole thing just collapses around them. But of course, you idiots over there on the left, those who drink down the left waffle, the local pub down the, you know, the nasty pub opposite to mine, you're all idiots. You all are, just like the Labour Party, massive, steaming mentally unstable hypocrites and now you're not liking it now the shoe's on the other foot and it's just a pleasure so please keep trying to polish this turd because this turd just keeps getting bigger and bigger and it doesn't matter how much you go well with the conservative disc because everybody goes yeah we know they, they moaned about that when that happened but you know no what are we gonna do <laughs> uh, any case popping up over there is a couple more videos you want to click on and see what else i've done down below is the logo. Click on that. Subscribe. Please do so. If you agree with what I'm saying, or you just find me mildly entertaining, feel free to subscribe. Also hit that like button. This improves the algorithm, expands our bubble of influence slowly but steadily. There is a comment section. There's always a comment section. I don't always get the chance to answer all the comments. Very difficult when you're a one-man show and you get lots of comments. It's difficult. But I will always read them, and you'll know that I've read them. You'll get a thumbs up and a heart if it's good. Or... Um, maybe a thumbs down, or even a 
thanks very much for the feedback, which probably means I don't agree with you, but you're entitled to your opinion. And remember, these are my opinions. I'm not telling you what to do. I open the door for you to walk through. Do some research. And unlike the left, you've suddenly realised, don't believe the media. Any case with that, I'm done. So, until the next one.